Hello, hello. Uh, I'm up first today, so um, first of all, my name is Jerry. A quick introduction on who I am. I'm one of the founders at Lofty and also very recently Alpha Arcade. Um, there are two projects that are both built on Algorand. Uh, Lofty launched in May of 2021, so we've been around the ecosystem for a little bit now. Alpha Arcade was quite new. Uh, we were building this as of um, November of last year, 2024, and it just very recently launched. Um, first off, I'm not here to show you anything, none of our products, and also, to be honest, I'm not here to show Algorand either. What I want to share is basically, you know, what is possible for you as a developer or any person, um, entrepreneur, to build on blockchain rails and specifically Algorand. And then on top of that, the reasons why we chose this blockchain to build on. And you can take that information and do what you want with it. If it makes sense for you, you know, you get, you get to execute on that. Um, so what is Lofty? And, and this is basically the example I'll be mainly using. Um, it's basically the world's first real estate exchange, if you think about it. The way we kind of always talk about it is like the NASDAQ or Uniswap, um, but for real estate, right? Um, and it's something that never really existed in the span of human history because real estate as an asset class has been around for actually centuries. People have been buying and selling and owning land and real estate for a really, really long time. And the funny thing is this entire time, it's been done in sort of a decentralized peer-to-peer -peer manner, if you think about it. Like someone puts up a for sale sign or they know somebody that is selling some land and, and they go and buy it from that person, right? Not a lot of um, centralized intermediaries, actually. Um, so that's what Lofty is. And one of the cool things that we think tokenizing real estate um, does for you is basically allow an asset that is traditionally very painful um, to transfer the ownership of. Um, and therefore, you know, there's a huge lack of liquidity, um, a lack of transparent pricing, um, and really localizes this market. So there's inefficient pricing, right? Imagine you're trading a, a crypto token or a stock on the NASDAQ, and you, know, you don't know what that stock is selling for in a different state or a different city. And every local area has different pricing for different assets. And that's basically what real estate was before. And it creates all those frictions and, and problems. And so by tokenizing the asset and moving the ownership on chain directly, you can eliminate a ton of intermediaries, a lot of back office work, and basically allow this asset to trade in the same way that stocks and a lot of crypto assets have been able to trade. Um, so really kind of bringing the entire industry and NASA class into, I would say, the 21st century. Um, so why did we sort of build on Algorand specifically? Um, our belief is, after doing a ton of research, even back in 2021, um, Algorand is the closest Web2 user experience that you could provide to a customer, right? And what do I mean by that? You know, we always talk about mass adoption in the crypto industry, and we've been talking about it for like decades at this point. And it seems to like always be around the corner, but never actually here, right? And if you really think about it, like from the mom's test, um, the average person can't use probably like 99% of the products that exist uh, in the industry right now. Um, so an example of this is when we wanted to build Lofty and we knew we needed to tokenize the asset and actually build it on a blockchain, we personally as founders tried out a variety of options that existed at the time just to see like what provided the best user experience, what was the most feasible. Um, and we tried, for example, Solana initially, and literally the day we tried, their chain was down. And it wasn't down for like, you know, like 30 seconds or, or even two hours. It was down for, I think it was literally a 24 hour outage on that specific day. And so we just thought like, well, what if we had built this product and we had thousands of customers, maybe millions of customers, and they're all angry because nothing works. And we just say, oh, well, sorry, there's nothing we can do because Solana's down, right? It, it wasn't really a, a good sort of first impression. And if it were to happen again, you know, 
Um, certainly, it's not something that we see a long-term future with for a product like ours. And so we definitely looked around for chains that just ideally had no outage, <laughs> and Algorand happened to fit that box uh, at that point. Another example is we also tried a lot of uh, layer two solutions um, on Ethereum, but one of the first uh, introductions we got, and at that point there was no like lofty wallets or any of the abstractions we build on top of our product today where anyone can sort of use the product and not even realize it's built on the blockchain. Back then you had to actually download a wallet and actually connect it to our app and so forth. And so when we tried an L2 solution, um, you know, it literally, there was a Chrome extension for the wallet and it asked me to bridge ETH onto the L2. And I did it and it says, please don't close this like extension window and like wait until this transaction is completed. And it quoted me a time and it was 48 minutes with a little spinning icon. And I'm like, okay, I guess I just sit here with this window open and, and wait 48 minutes. But then we talked as founders, we're like, okay, imagine our first customers that we're trying to onboard into this new product. And the first user experience they get is that loading window. I'm like, all right, let me try to set up and use Lofty. And like, they just sit there and wait 48 minutes. Compared to a traditional Web2 product, like Uber or whatever may be the thing that you use most frequently, you can see there's a big discrepancy. And capturing the attention span of your users, especially if you want mainstream adoption, is incredibly di difficult. And it's very competitive because there's so many Web2 apps that just are so seamless. Um, and so that's the reason why ultimately we chose to build um, on Algorand. And so like wrapping up the conversation here is, you know, what is adoption um, look like? What does that actually look like for us, for everyone else and how we think about it? Basically, we don't think there's actually a thing that is, everyone talks about blockchain adoption. Right? If you really think about it, when you onboard a friend or you have a user and supposedly they're using a blockchain, what does it fundamentally mean? Uh, if you onboard someone to Algorand and they're like, oh yeah, they did a trade on folks finance or you know, they use Tinyman, what actually happened is you onboarded them to folks finance and you onboarded them to Tinyman. There is no such thing as a user directly using the blockchain itself. That's, that's not a thing. A blockchain is basically like a database layer or infrastructure for your product, right? And just like Uber or like any Web2 products, nobody goes to their customers and, and their marketing strategy is, hey, you should use Uber because we're built on AWS or we're, we use this like database architecture. That is not how they pitch their product. And I believe that for the industry to really move forward and actually for mainstream adoption to, to be here and for everyone to actually uh, do it is we need to stop talking about blockchain like it is the product itself. It, it's not. And so for us, we knew when building Lofty, our target users would be traditional real estate investors who already own real estate, probably aren't that great with technology. They don't care, they don't care about the rankings or the market caps of blockchains. They don't even know what, in many cases, what a blockchain is. Um, and sometimes they think it's a scam, you know, and <laughs> it is what it is. But we knew that was our user base. And so building for that user base, all we needed was a chain that was incredibly reliable, very cheap for transactions. We cover all the gas fees for our users so they don't have to learn what it is and, and how to navigate that. Um, and so Lofty, uh, and so obviously Algorand fit our needs. And I think that, you know, for those that might not be from the community or the ecosystem, it is something that you should take a look at if you're serious about building a production grade app that hopefully will have mainstream adoption and will ideally become as large as Uber one day. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for your time.